Hello and welcome. This is James from the DSO Imager channel. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you how I process the Needle Galaxy. Now this image is the last uh, image for galaxy season uh, for me. And uh, Needle has always been a galaxy that's been on my list to uh, get. Now, I used my Celestron Edge HD8 and the uh, ASI 294 Mono. Now, it seems like lately, uh, every image that I've been taking has had its own set of challenges, and that's going to be very apparent here. So, this is um, almost 14 hours of luminance that I was able to get, uh, but you can see this dark uh, corner here, and this is being caused by the uh, off-axis guider. So, basically what happened was prior to uh, uh, targeting uh, this galaxy, I had taken down the uh, imaging train and cleaned everything up and um, I forgot to account for the uh, prism of that off-axis guider. And so after I got the first couple of subs, I saw that and I was like, oh man. <laughs> so I had decided to run with it anyway uh, because I knew I was going to crop this. So I figured I'd just crop it out. Besides, I really expected flats to take care of that. And, um, and you'll see on some of the other filters, the flats did work. And I'm not entirely sure why the uh, flats with the luminance uh, didn't work. And, and of course, I accumulated some dust. I mean, I guess that's part of the problem with, uh, with um, going uh, long on a target. Because I've shot, galax uh, shot this uh, galaxy um, off and on many nights you know, weather permitting, moon permitting, and so I think the total collection time spanned over a month to accumulate this data, and of course the edge uh, is a, um, it's a magnet for, for dust <laughs> out in my backyard. But I mean, then again, despite the challenges, I think the quality of the data here had a lot of potential. I wasn't sure what to expect from the edge, whether the 8-inch edge uh, it was going to have enough resolution to do a nice job on the uh, dust lanes in here, but uh, uh, it surprised me a little bit on this one. Let's uh, take a look at the color. So there's our green, blue. Uh, something happened here with blue. It looks like the flats didn't do anything. This is what it looks like when you don't have any flat. So I'm not sure what happened with this, uh, but <laughs> I ran with it anyway. And uh, there's red. So we cropped, we ran dynamic background extraction. Uh, here you can see, so I mean this looks pretty good, right? Red, there's green. And even blue doesn't look too bad. We got a little bit over here, but yeah, I mean, you can see little st stuff here. So definitely looks like the flats did not uh, work when I stacked that. Now with the uh, luminance, in addition to running dynamic background extraction, I also um, uh, ran deconvolution. And so you can see it here. There, so that is without deconvolution. And that's with. Uh, really noticeable here. It did a really nice job on the uh, dust lane. Okay, so next I combined RGB. Uh, using the LRGB combination tool, and this is what I got. Uh, so now you can see there's still some discoloration in there. Uh, some of the issues with the flats not working great are poking through here. So I actually ran dynamic background extraction again against this combined image, and this is what I ended up with. So, I mean, that really did a nice job on that. All right, so next I uh, blurred out the color uh, using a noise exterminator. 
okay and so you can see that this is just with max uh, noise reduction settings right and what we're doing here is trying to eliminate as much of the color noise as possible before we add the luminance so I mean you can see this uh, color noise here and this just smooths it all out and I mean we're not really worried about details in here because uh, that's what the luminance is for and now you can see a slight adjustment here and so what I'm doing is I'm trying to uh, increase the signal by tweaking the histogram uh, to to get it as a closer match for the uh, luminance because the luminance was a very strong signal at uh, 13 hours 14 hours on there and then this is adding the luminance now we see noise back but I didn't do any noise reduction on the luminance channel so that's why you have noise here and uh, this is with our color added now so I stretched this and then I made a clone and this is uh, I did a lot of work on this clone so first thing I did is I pulled the stars off right? and then I made this mask here and the reason for this is that I'm going to work on this background you can still see that there's some discoloration in here and a good way to deal with these blotchy colors is just to protect what you uh, protect your objects and then just take the saturation right out and that's what I did here see how gray the background looks here so took the color out reverse the mask and now I'm doing some curves work in the galaxy and I ended up here and so yeah I mean this is pretty much where I ended up with it looks pretty clean uh, and I'm overall pretty happy with the colors at this point uh, so I did a little work on on the stars next so actually I made a clone of that and this is where all the work was uh, performed uh, and if I failed to mention it I used a star exterminator to pull the stars out alright so made a little preview box there I pulled back on curves uh, I did use um, uh, morpholo morphological transformation on this and I increased the saturation so you can see that pretty clearly here yep, so that's what it started off with and that's what I ended up with alright so next I added the stars and then I did a little bit more tweaking with curves uh, pulling back on curves overall and then I took this image into uh, Photoshop and uh, did a little bit of tweaking in Photoshop so with Photoshop I mostly worked on uh, contrast I don't even think I touched uh, the colors too much uh, but this is how it ended up after Photoshop and this was this is what I would consider my first pass now on YouTube there's that community tab right and I use that community tab lately I've been posting pictures of my first pass and um, what I like to do is finish working on an image uh, and then set it aside and give myself a cool down period because invariably I'll come back the next day and uh, you know I'll think of different things uh, to try that I can do more and so there was more that I wanted to do with this image and mostly what I wanted to do was give some attention uh, to all these other smallish galaxies uh, that are in the background that uh, are still bright enough that they show a little bit of detail and I think overall I wanted to improve the uh, color as well on the picture and so I'm not going to go into detail on every step 
that I did, but I think you can get a good idea uh, by looking at the different masks that I created. So you can see how each mask is focused on a certain area. Mostly for color, uh, maybe a little bit of unsharp mask, a little bit of curves work, and you can see that all these range masks were born from game masks. And I can step through uh, the different changes here, right? So there's some inverting, right? Working on that guy down there. Working on that one, pretty significant change there. Yeah, and so I ended up with that. Uh, I may have went into Photoshop one more time, uh, but here it is. This is the final image. And yeah, so I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy uh, how this one turned out. Uh, the detail's quite good. I wasn't sure how well the uh, eight-inch edge was going to do with uh, resolving some of these uh, finer dust lanes in there, but I think it did all right. And there's a close-up. I mean, all I did on this guy was just boost saturation. Uh, the blue was already there. Just need to coax it out a little bit. Right, and I thought this little spiral galaxy came out pretty good. I, I think all I did on that guy was uh, a little saturation and a little bit of unsharp mask. And uh, this one, we even got a little bit of detail in there. So there it is, the Needle Galaxy. I'd love to uh, hear what you guys think. Uh, questions and comments always welcome if you're not one of my regulars um, please hit that uh, subscribe button and that like button um, especially if you like this I'm my goal is to do a video like this on nearly every object uh, that I capture and um, part of the idea behind this is that uh, I'm sharing my workflow and over time you can see how my workflow has evolved and also for anyone that's wanting to do research on a target that they're looking for you know over time I should have a lot of uh, popular targets videos dedicated to these targets and so with that uh, have a good evening and clear skies